Hi everyone, in today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to do a bit of self-reflection. We're now in 2024, and I'm going to share with you why 2023 is the most defining year that I've had so far. So let's get into it. So I'm currently living in England, and I have been since September, but before September, I was living in Thailand. The gym I was working at is called Base Bangkok. They've got a very good name for themselves, a very strong reputation, and they've won numerous awards. They've won Asia's Gym of the Year, and they've also won Bangkok's Best Gym. I've made some amazing friends and connections that I'm still in touch with to this day. Outside of work, I also had a very good social life. There were so many family get-togethers with extended family. I also played football with my cousins and their friends every single week, so life was good. In terms of work, Base pays really well. When you factor in that the cost of living in Thailand is slightly lower or a lot lower than England or Europe, plus the fact that Base pays a generous salary, I was able to make a pretty good living for myself when I was in Thailand. I was also living at home, so I didn't have to worry about expenses too much. Life was good. So why did I decide to leave all of that behind and move to England, a place where I've experienced a little bit of a challenging transition in the past and I definitely experienced a bit of a culture shock when I lived here for uni. Why did I decide to leave the comforts of home to go to England? Well, it comes down to ambition. You see, the people that I aspire to, the people in the fitness industry, they are living life on their own terms. They are living a life of abundance and they are living a life of freedom. Not just financial freedom, but time freedom and location freedom. Now this is a stage which I am trying to get to. Now let's be clear, these people have experienced some really tough times, a fair bit of hardship, and definitely a fair share of sacrifices in order to get to the stage where they are at today. And I look at these people and I think, in order for me to get to this stage as well, I need to try and put myself in an uncomfortable situation. Not take a reckless risk, but definitely do things that scare you, and if you keep persisting, you'll be able to reap the rewards. But most importantly, all of these people, what they have in common is that they've left home or they've certainly left a comfort zone or they didn't even have a comfort zone to turn to. So they've had to try and make it work for themselves. As Steve Bartlett in Diary of a CEO said, if you have plan B at the back of your mind, you will simply not strive to do everything in your power to try and make plan A work the psychology, and they've done this multiple times in multiple studies, but it is pretty solid evidence that even the presence of a plan B can reduce motivation towards your plan A. Completely. Completely. I mean, like, I wish I knew that study because that's such a beautiful, beautiful illustration of what it is and also what it means to have a, a, a knife at your back. Mm. Like I remember the thing I used to say back then, when I first started to find success, and I would always be like, my life is like I'm running from a pack of starving wolves. It's challenging as well because there are times when I think that, you know, I could very easily move back to Thailand, still make a good living for myself and enjoy life because there's no doubt about it, I do enjoy life in Thailand more than I do in England. Some people here who have never even been to Thailand, they've asked me, why on earth did I decide to leave Thailand? Because I've certainly got no language barrier in Thailand, I can speak Thai quite fluently, it's quite handy. Why did I decide to leave that behind? Now in just a short conversation, I struggle to express sometimes exactly how I feel. And for those of you actually who are still not really sure what I mean, let me break it down to what life in Thailand was really like. So I was living at home with family, I didn't really have any expenses to pay. Because of that, I did help out with my parents, but cost of living is low. I had a cleaner who came over to my house, so I didn't have to do any chores. I never had to cook my own meals because I was able to eat out. The food is not only delicious in Thailand, but it is highly affordable. You don't have to have loads of cash in order to eat out every single meal in Thailand. If you've got more cash, then obviously you can eat in the nicer restaurants. And in addition to this, I was able to travel quite a lot to exotic destinations around the country. Now that's all well and great, but deep down, I had the thought at the back of my mind that in order for me to achieve greatness, whether it's build my own business or move everything online, I need to leave my comfort zone, I need to leave home, and I need to be able to be fully independent and become the man I want to be. Now, on a more positive note, 2023 has been a highly memorable year. There's so many moments. The most significant one would be me having a brother-in-law, my sister got married in the summer, which was a significant moment for my entire family. I had my fair share of traveling to places which I've always wanted to travel to in Thailand, namely Krabi, Samui, I've been there before, but it was great to go there again. But yeah, to achieve greatness, I believe that you had to move away from home leave your comfort zone. And the thing is, home will always be there. I know I could always go back. Again, I'm trying not to think that way though. I'm trying to just focus on the task that I have in mind, remind myself of the reasons for moving 
to England. So the purpose of creating this video is to just motivate and inspire anyone watching. If you're stuck in a rut, or you're not really happy with the direction of your life, or you feel like you're destined for something greater, make a change. Don't feel you have to stick with something because time is your most valuable asset and time is something that you will never get back. When I left Thailand, some people actually agreed and said it was a good decision for me to make because it's a challenge, it's a career change, because at the time I didn't have any commitments, like I didn't have a house, didn't have a mortgage, didn't have any huge payments, I wasn't seeing anyone, so I only had myself to worry about. So it was a good time, whereas I knew that if I waited closer till you know the age of 30, it would be very hard because if I have commitments and I'm more drawn into the life that I had in Thailand, the longer I'm there, it's going to be very hard to leave. So looking back on it now, I'm so glad for the year of 2023. I've had an amazing time. Like I said, traveled to some amazing places with some beautiful people, really enjoyed life, made some connections for life in base. and I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, this change was needed. On the flip side, speaking of my current situation, I am super grateful for Pure Gym, the gym that I'm currently working at in England. I would not have expected the team to have been so supportive, so friendly, such a good vibe. In my mind, I actually thought moving to an open gym, like Pure Gym compared to Base, which is a fitness studio, it's a bit more private, I thought that Pure Gym would be very cutthroat and I thought there'd be a lot of competition, coaches having competition for clients, but there's absolutely none of that at the Pure Gym I'm at. Everyone supports each other. Everyone genuinely wants other coaches to succeed, which is really nice. And I definitely wasn't expecting that. So Pure Gym have exceeded my expectations big time. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity I have in store. And I really look forward to what 2024 will bring to the Pure Gym that I'm at. So thanks so much for watching this video. I've rambled on a little bit, but if you have enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video.